Welcome back. We are in our Steiger and oh, we having trouble. So my disc, it's got some bearings going out and it is just a clogging machine. It gets plugged all the time. Uh, it doesn't even really pull just right. If you can see, it's extremely unlevel. I'm going to have to find, figure out something else to do. This just isn't working. Yep, it's time to call it a night. I will see you guys in the morning. Let's get to it. Good morning. So, it's time to go check the cows. We're gonna go do that quick. Look at all them projects sitting over there. Man. I have a long list of winter projects stacking up. Now I have to work on the disc. Gonna have to figure out exactly what I need to do for a different tillage machine. I think Jeremy might have something I can borrow. On our way down, we're gonna go stop by and see what he had. What the heck? What is that thing? I have no idea. This is Jeremy's property, but I, I don't know who would own that thing right there. Now this is a beautiful rig here. This International 4900. That is good looking. I have no idea what this thing is. Did somebody try to lower a semi? Look at them. They got low pros on there. Wow, it might be sharp. Better step away from that. The SR Customs. I'm, I'm surprised that's not dragging the ground right now. Look, look how low that is. Holy cow. That is a low riding truck. I have never seen that low of a riding truck on a grain trailer. As you can see, it's for sale. But I'm definitely, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going to make an offer on that. But I do need a grain truck. Our, uh, our little uh, C70 grain truck engine is blown up. If you remember, it got waterlogged, so it's, it's done for. So I need to find a new engine for it and a new transmission. And I'm in the middle of harvest. Speaking of harvest... I heard Austin was harvesting soybeans. It's the middle of summer. I have never seen soybeans harvested in the middle of summer. Not around this area. I mean, look how green ours is. They must had a really low maturity rate soybeans to be able to harvest in like the heat of summer. Usually this is when the soybeans are just growing you know, this is this is when they grow almost an inch a day or even more. I don't know why you would want to harvest in the middle of summer, but apparently they had a really a different type of soybeans than I'd ever seen, or really low maturity rate, because that's weird. Speaking of saying, man, I'm really interested in this truck. I think maybe. If I give them an offer for this truck, I might be able to borrow. I might be able to borrow this cultivator over here. I, I'm not for sure. We might have problems with that plugging up, but that's the only thing he has right now, so I might ask if we could borrow that thing. 
think I'm gonna think on it a little bit while I'm driving down. We gotta still check on our steers over here at the cattle yard. Look at them fat mamas. I mean, uh, steers. I'm sorry. Did I offend somebody? Alright, so I think all of our cattle are doing good. We definitely, I don't have any sick ones. They're fed. Time to get back to work. Jump over the barbed wire. Oh, oh man. Oh, my beans got caught. Oh, oh, oh. Should have used the gate. Oh, man. I ripped my jeans. Oh. I gotta go change. Oh well, I guess this is a uh, free air condition. I don't think I, I think don't think I have a choice. I'm really sick of using my semi to dump into my grain bins. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a deal purchase. All right, my wife is gonna kill me bought something else. I know, I know, I know. I buy way too much stuff. Stop putting stuff in front of me like candy. Just can't help it. Alright, we'll get back here. I think Timmy is on his way, so the plan today is I need Timmy to basically continue harvesting. We have been rained out. We, this harvest has went on way too long way too long so i need to cultivate and then i need a plant right into there because we are double cropping even though other people are harvesting soybeans i'm going to be planting soybeans because it is still before the fourth of july so which means you could still get somewhat of a crop hopefully off your soybeans that is the plan so I'm going to wait till Timmy gets here. We're going to haul, do some transfer of a truck over there. Jeremy's, get his uh, cultivator, get that running on our big fatty Steiger. And look at that thing. Thing is giant. So intimidating. I feel like I can just walk on my knees right underneath it. Starting up my new rig. I'm just joking. I did not purchase that, but it's kind of weird. The key works for both. I don't know. I guess they're both international 4900s, but uh, yeah. So if you have an international 4900 uh, key, uh, you could basically start up any, well, at least the same year model. Now that is a good looking farm truck. Can't really say that for that other low pro over there. Alright, right, we're waiting for Timmy to show up. We're gonna be unloading the green cart. I don't know if Timmy's gonna use this or just the truck. Uh, he's gonna have to be on his own. I don't think I'm gonna be able to help him out much, that's for sure. So, I'm gonna have to be cultivating and then planting right after that. So I was trying to no-till or no-till plant into the wheat, but it was just a clogging mess. So nothing's working this summer. So everything's trying to prevent us from getting our double crops in. All right, that thing is at least more respectable on this giant 9390. At least it looks more respectable this thing has more traction than the Welker's uh, big buds almost well maybe about the same this thing is a beast all right Timmy needs to show up because I'm behind I think I'm gonna start cultivating I just want to make sure this thing's running I'm going to get the planter running just to make sure I don't need my wife to go get me some parts or something. So, I have a suspicion this is going to be a long, long day and even longer night. Yeah. 
That isn't doing too shabby. Right, it's not getting plugged up. So I think we might have a cure for this field madness. Lost, I was lost without any direction Had a line so many times But I needed attention No matter what I say No matter my regrets Things still been said and done Do the outside pass here Big beast of a Steiger. I don't know. I, I know I really like that Alice Chalmers, but oh man. I'm not missing it. Let's just say that. This thing is nice. Might be a little bit big for this farm. Not exactly this big, but I mean the best thing about this thing, it's intimidating. I mean, no one's gonna laugh at you. I don't think, does having a big tractor mean you have, uh, what do you call it, uh, small hands, small feet, you know what I'm talking about? I don't think it means the same as a big lifted truck, right? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask my wife if that's what it means. Yeah, man, I'm going to have to put these holes in the bottom of my jeans all the time. I ripped my jeans when I was going over barbed wire right at the crotch. It's got some free AC and these uh, AC ducts right there just blow right in there. Prevents, you know, any uh, unnecessary sweat going on from the seat. I like it. Especially, no one likes the swamp horse. Farm around here. This field is kind of misshaped because it has this waterway that goes around it and it follows it basically. There we go. I think I just saw Timmy drive into the yard. Gonna get him started on the old harvester and hopefully I can start in on planting. It's a hope and a dream. I don't know if it'll come reality. All right, I'll leave this old thing right here. Shut off that beast. Won't take me long getting cultivating in front of the tractor or the planter with the tractor. All right, so we got little Timmy. He's running. 9,600, look at him go. Man, he's grown up so quick. So I, I told him there's a few wet spots in this field. We gotta go around. So I'm hoping he's smart enough to go around them because wow, we have got some serious low spots that are still holding water in this field. So gotta be careful out there, Timmy. All right, so I need to get the planter ready. Planter tractor run over here quickly get our 81 started up park over here by the garbage cans who graffiti's out here that's weird all right unhooked from our broken grain cart there go behind this uh, our little shop pick up our planner I think it's already filled up and ready to go. Hoping, anyways. Hopefully, start right in here. Oh no. Uh, I 
don't think that's good, Jimmy. Oh, man. That truck does not look like it's in a good position now. Woo. Timmy. Timmy got the grain truck stuck. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to help him out. That is going to be a beast. That thing is loaded down. Good thing we got the stagger over there. That thing can't pull it off. We'll probably just pull the axle right out on the, underneath it. Oh no. That is stuck. Well, let's get the stagger started up. This thing can't pull it out. Uh, we're gonna need a heavy lift chopper. Alright. Probably have to unhook the cultivator. Probably unhook that somewhere over here. Man, let's see what we got. Whew, that thing is buried. Oh man. Whew. Look at this buried grain truck. I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to back it up, get it from the rear. I know that's what she said, but back away from a little bit but I I tried pulling it out and I think I might pull the front axle off of this thing I might try one more time pulling it straight out but I might have to get a longer chain and basically attack it from the rear this is not gonna be an easy process Timmy why'd you drive the grain truck into the field for Let's see if we can pull it out of here. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not going anywhere. Oh. Yeah. Gonna have to get a chain. What? Little Timmy's messing around again with the ram charger. What the heck? Timmy's out of control. First he gets my truck stuck, then he's trying to get my blood pressure running by just schooling around with my new uh, Ram Charger. Ugh. Man, I swear. Alright, we've got it hooked up from the rear. We're gonna attack this from the rear. I know, I know, I know, that's probably inappropriate to say get a little run and start. We need a yank em rope. That's what we need. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Yep, yep. No problem here. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Coming. Uh, uh. Are, we, are we gonna make it? Come on. Uh. I probably should go a little bit farther so I make sure I'm okay. Get it out here as far as we can, then we will unhook it. Hopefully Timmy can uh, withstand freaking driving through the mud puddle again. Alright, I think we are okay. Let me drive this truck over here to the side of the field. Little Timmy don't get any more ideas. Yeah. Whew. Whew, we got the mud caked on our duels right now. Drive this right beside our planted soybeans here. Whew. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Alright. Got my wife started there, so hopefully she could stay in front of me now, and uh, I can focus in on planting. As long as Timmy doesn't do anything more crazy. Planting away now. This is the way I like it. Everything's running. No one's holding up the progress, Timmy. Even my wife's out here helping out. Grab the big old Steiger. Damn, that thing is a beast over there. So glad I got to rent that thing. I would have probably 
had to double hook up a tractor. Hook up this uh, 8100 and the Magnum to get that truck out. The thing was buried in the deep stuff. Beat the mud. We all do it though. We're all victim of it. Timmy has to learn from his mistakes, obviously, the hard way. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in the 90s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Oh my goodness. Do you see this? What did Timmy do now? He, holy cow, he buried that harvester. Oh no. Oh, make sure you like the video.